Okay, welcome to the channel. Um, I've been trying to record this video a couple of times, and it's been <laughs> it's been sort of quite a difficult one to 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 do. Um, it's it's kind of a it's a bit of a touchy subject with with some people um, and I've heard on other podcasts people talking about it and always gets quite a, a heated debate I've heard it on places like Pearly Things and Fresh and Fit um, so but uh, yeah so the the topic is um, promiscuity basically is being promiscuous sort of a a good thing or a bad thing or well more to the point i think i think the question that i'm going to ask is do men find promiscuous women attractive now i think overall no but that does sort of come with um a bit of a, a caveat so but anyway just so just so we know the the definition just looking at google now um being promiscuous is defined as having or characterized by many transient sexual partners um it comes from the latin word promiscuous promiscus which means indiscriminate um, and the early sense it included consisting of elements mixed together indiscriminate and unindiscriminate un giving rise to the notion of casual so obviously um, as we know it these days it's to sort of have casual sex no sort of set relationships or anything like that so yeah like i say it gets it it's mainly frowned upon in modern society when it's a woman that that does it um blokes seem to get away with it that like they can they can be promiscuous and it doesn't seem to um affect men in a in a negative way too much in fact actually i think sometimes it makes them look even better um i think i think the reason why it probably comes off a little bit worse or maybe a fair bit worse with with women uh women who are promiscuous I think a lot of it is down to women tend to, or at least in my opinion, women tend to be sort of like the gatekeepers of of sex. Now I know you can say, well, you know, if a man doesn't want to have sex, he can say no, and then it's not going to happen. I get that. I completely get that. However, I mean. <laughs> Chances are a guy not wanting to have sex is is very slim. And I know you could say, well, you know, if he's married, got a girlfriend and doesn't want to have sex with another woman, then it's not going to happen. But even within his own relationship with his wife or his girlfriend, if if she were to offer sex, he's going to go for it. But then if it was the other way around, if he was wanting to have sex... The, the the woman's more likely to say no than what a guy would so i think they tend to i think women tend to be the gatekeepers and so it, it goes off that that sort of sort of premise where you know let's just say you know women are the gatekeepers of sex if if they're just basically letting other men like sleep with them no no sort of uh you know no relationship or anything like that just 
one night stands and and things like that well it it, it kind of it kind of looks a lot worse um now i'm not saying you like i'm i try to be more libertarian things i'm not saying women can't do this if that's what if that's what you want to do then so be it that's why i'm not saying i'm not trying to do this video as sort of like a, a wrong or right is it wrong or is it right if it's what you want to do and you're happy doing that and you like you genuinely are happy doing that that is what you enjoy you haven't sort of you know gone down this path of uh, failed relationships and things like that and you've just progressively got worse and you, you, you sort of got to the point where you are just sleeping around if you are just generally happy um having many sexual partners then okay that's fine you know no 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 worries about it so yeah i'm not trying to say it's wrong or right what i'm trying to do this video for is just to give at least sort of like my perspective on do men find it attractive so getting back to that i'd, I'd have to say no now a man will i think like a lot of women get confused fuse or try and conflate the two they sort of think if a man sleeps with them then he must like them and want a relationship but it, it 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 doesn't happen like that with guys guys don't think like that they will quite happily just have sex with with a female and not worry about relationships so when i say do guys find it an attractive quality Overall, no, because or at least I, I personally don't. Um, I don't. I don't think sleeping with a lot of people outside of some sort of stable relationship. I don't. I don't think it's a, a very good thing. I think it's. I think it can negatively impact your your sort of um mentality um you never really find in love or anything like that you just it's all just fun and pleasure there's no there's no real connection um with with sort of who you're sleeping with it's it's so yeah i i, I personally don't find it an attractive quality um but i think i think i speak for a lot of guys out there as well i think a lot of guys um don't find it i think when when uh like i think a lot of guys like to see sort of like their girlfriend or their wife is sort of like having some sort of innocence um and e even though you say like this they subtly know you know she, she's probably slept with someone else before um you know in had other relationships guys don't 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 want to know sort of like how many or or anything like that i mean that's just a little tip for for ladies out there if you're in a relationship don't bring up previous relationships just don't bring it up especially if you do have more of a higher body count don't bring it up don't talk about it if your boyfriend starts trying to talk about it i mean if you have got a high body count and you do say to him you know yes i've i've slept with quite a few people that's going to play on his mind a lot and it's going to eat away at him now usually i'd say best thing in any relationship is to be honest um i don't know in this respect it might be an idea to just sort of tell a bit of a white lie um or if you don't want to be if you don't want to sort of like tell a tell a lie as such and you do sort of go over your your previous sexual history then I'd, I'd recommend don't don't sort of celebrate any of your previous um, relationships or previous sexual encounters. Talk about them as, as if they were horrible. They were they were naff, naff. Go on, naff off. 
the horrible, the shit, you didn't like them. Um, and the, the relationship that she's in right now is like absolutely brilliant and amazing. Like, and no other guy before before this guy ever fulfilled her and you know sort of like <laughs> lay it on thick but don't definitely don't just bring up your previous um sort of like sexual history because guys guys don't want to wear it um you see so will will a guy see like a guy will sleep with a promiscuous woman so if he's out, you know, drinking and and sort of like some some girls giving him the eye and stuff like that, he he will he will go for it, like nine out of ten times. You know what I mean? He will go for it. Um, but in the sense of having a relationship, I don't I don't think it's something that that guys look for. I don't think I don't think it's sort of like on a guy's list of. Um, criteria you know or you know she's got to be you know, like brown eyes brown hair um athletic figure uh she's got to have more dick than a richard convention um you know she's got to be uh strong and funny you know what i mean it's not going to come up in that list at all you know no 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 guy wants that and i think the only kind of guy that would put up with that, and I'm not saying would want it, but would would sort of put up with that. Would probably be more of a simp, sort of a guy like low self esteem who has probably been waiting years and years and years for some some hot girls to come along, and finally some hot girl has come along, but the hot girl's got got a high body count, and he sort of obviously idealistic. He doesn't want that, but because is is sort of you know smitten with the fact that he's, he's got this this attractive girl he will sort of like put up with it um so i mean and also i've uh, I've, I've like read in certain places um that sort of a, a if a if a woman has a sort of a high body can has, has been very sort of promiscuous in the past they're more likely to cheat in future relationships and also more likely to um to divorce in in future relationships as well so that's that's i don't know it just sort of it just sort of like adds to the whole promiscuous argument again if it's what you want to do it's what you want to do uh by all means sort of you know fill your boots go for it um but just a word of warning sort of if you come to the point if a promiscuous woman comes to the point of wanting to have a a serious relationship um at, at some point and she's got a high body count she might actually find it a bit difficult and if if the guy finds out it will be it will eat away at him so anyway that's it for this video i hope i haven't rattled too many cages with uh with with this one um i'm trying to get some videos as many as i can do i mean i've still got a nine to five job uh still gotta like you know work and pay the bills and i've got to go to the gym um you know so i end up quite busy so i'm trying to put some videos together and 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 get them out there um but i don't know i might be a bit slow on it so but yes i mean please if you want to support me, i know it's i know it's like really really crap the channel at the moment but you know if if you do want to support me obviously subscribe um give the video a like so up uh, by all means put some something in the comments you know what i mean if if you disagree with what with what i'm saying um then then by all means um you know fire a comment back at me 
and I'll I'll try and read them and and go over them. So yeah, okay, that's it for this video. See you later.